September 7th, 2018, 4.40 in the morning. Boat is gassed up, truck is gassed up, and all we got left to do, oh, and we got some energy drinks for the day. Mighty Necessities to Fish a three day tournament. Yesterday we didn't film, but Sean and I had an amazing pre fish. Final day for the CSFL Classic on Balsam Lake. It's looking like we may actually catch five fish for this event. We're up super early. It's about an hour and a half drive to the, the boat launch for me. We're going to meet Sean McCall at Tim Hortons in Lindsay, Ontario. So let's hit the highway. Hopefully, September tournaments go way better than August ones. Burn some gas, catch some bass. <laughs> Made it one third of the way to Balsam Lake. Morning, Shawnee. Yo. Good day yesterday on the water. Productive day. We found quite a few key spots that hopefully hold out today. Uh, you pulled a hook out of my finger. Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, second time this year. Yes, I did. If you guys want to see that, go to uh, the Fear Fishing Facebook page. You can totally watch that video of Sean smiling as he rips that uh, treble hook out of my finger. Bro, we're one third of the way there. Eight o'clock blast off today. We're going to the second heat. We're just gonna have to grind out. You can't win a three day tournament on day one, but you can certainly lose it so we just oh. got to hang in there right yep okay bro let's hit the road yep. we're about 25 30 minutes away from balsam lake so got to keep driving the truck made it to balsam lake just loading up the boat mr mccall is getting rods ready day one the classic it's gonna be a good day i think out of all the daiwa rods and reels i have i managed to get it down to four those would be the four rods i'm using for the classic if i have to bust more rods out things are not going so hot but i got i'm fairly confident we're gonna throw some fish down today mccall it's gonna be a good day yep pumped yep let's do this homie let's get this boat in the water anyway is officially gone. We got 10 minutes till we blast off. She's gonna be a grind of a weekend, Sean, but somebody's going to, uh, one of these teams is gonna have the weekend they're never gonna forget. Yep. It's gonna be good. Who knows? You we know, just... I'm, I'm kinda, I'm kinda secretly cheering for Mike Williams and Dwayne Jacobs. I'd really like to see a 3 P champion. A 3 like, those champion? Those are awesome sticks. If we but can't win, that's your... Of course, uh, I wanna win. If that, if we can't win, that's your vote? Yeah. They're a good, good team. So we got 10 minutes to decide what we're gonna do. Hopefully we make the right decisions and we come out with a solid bag today. Mm -hmm. We need five good ones to get this got, rolling. You know, we got lots of fish out there. We put it in a real hard pre-fish. We yep. got a lot of work and... All we need is a little luck now. Yeah, yeah, I'm confident going. I'm, out there I'm today. feeling good. For Could sure. be way worse than this. I feel better today going out for this tournament than I have for any tournament all year. Well, we'll see how this ends up. It's go time. Classic 2018. Right. Oh, oh. Hey, I'm looking for a couch to crash. with anyone I've been out walking on a rough patch now but I must say living on the edge of things has been kind of fun look there's a bruise right here one or a few on there man did you see me though cause the short foot on the show I'm dancing on the tables and I Number three, the little four things we on the jerk page, still need some biggins, but we're getting there.
see me though Cause I sure put on the show I'm dancing on the tables and I But we dumped three or four good fish out there and we probably would have been into the 16 and change. Hey, my man? Yeah. So tomorrow, they, we, the rumor is, or the guesstimate, is that uh, the cut's gonna be around 30 pounds. So we're still in this. All we need to do is bag up 17, 18 pounds tomorrow and we're, we're in the game still. Yeah. It wasn't a horrible day at all. It was just- We caught lots of fish. We caught lots of fish and it's, that's kind of the risk you're taking throwing jerk baits for smallmouth. Yeah. You're going to hook big fish, but you're also going to lose some big fish throwing the jerk bait. It's as soon as they jump, it's so tough to keep them on the hook. McCall, Yo. what's the plan tomorrow? What's up? What's going up? What's up? Pump for tomorrow? Moose and the Polish Prince. Look at these guys. They had a good day. 50 and change. You're well on your way. 1575. Nice. Good work, boys. Good work. Well done. Good on you. Okay, we're packing up and heading home. Quick turnaround tonight, and we are back here tomorrow for eight o'clock blast off again. 1280 is just not good enough. Man, I am, we had such a good pre-fish, I'm pretty disappointed that we didn't put a herd on them today. But, I guess that's fishing. Finally made it in the door. What a tough day. Pre-fish went so well. You guys saw in the vlog that Sean and I were on fish. Well, the day after, yesterday, Sean and I did even better and found even more big fish. And today, we just couldn't keep them hooked. Simply, it comes down to that. Sean and I lost too many big fish today. The good news is, is the field is super, super tight. There's only, we're not out of it by any means. Tomorrow, Sean and I go out and get to have a good day. Beg a decent sack. We may have a chance at making the cut and fishing Sunday. But we're going to have to fish clean. We're not going to be able to lose any more fish. But there's a chance. Other cool news, I just got the word my buddy Joey Ford he fished the Thousand Island Costa event 24 pounds day one 21 pounds day two he's sitting in eighth place fishing the final day he made the cut it's late I'm exhausted I hope this vlog is all right I hope you guys enjoy it but I gotta edit it right now it's around 8 p.m. get upstairs respool two rods get ready for tomorrow because I gotta be back up at 4 a.m to drive back and hopefully Sean and I can get this done. I'm not gonna say that I'm not disappointed. I was pretty rough on myself on the drive home, but you gotta look at it in the back of your head, it's fishing, it happens. Playing the jerkbait game with those smallmouth is a risky business. The whole field during while waiting to weigh in, all we heard about was guys who lost big fish today. Cold front tonight, hopefully them smallies are hammering baits in the morning. Fingers crossed guys, that's all we can do. Keep casting and keep pounding away. 17, 18 pounds, and I think we'll make that cut. We'll see you soon.